Hello everyone, and welcome back to Near Reincarnation. I'm G, and I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Good lord, I've been here almost every day. And let me just take you on a tour of what I've done, which is actually not much. Basically, we have the same ladies, but you may notice my total force is much, much higher. That is because I went and enhanced the shit out of everything. I figured out what the best weapons were for everybody, enhanced the shit out of them, I ascended some things, I did a lot of summoning. Basically, there's just so much weight. Can I change the name of my loadout? No! Maximum of 10 characters. Damn. The ELS. The Edgy Lady Squad. That's terrible that you can't uh, do more than 10 characters. But whatever. Whatever, it's fine. But now, it's time for us to finish Griff's story. Scarecrow. One cannot help but wonder what will become of the boy and the captain. End of the story. Yeah, we're definitely doing a little bit better. I really hope that this doesn't catch up too quickly because uh, I'm only 13,000 more than that, but shit, we'll just go for as long as we can. let the go! I'm also really interested to see who the next character is. Loading. Please load faster, thank you. The reluctant hero, none left behind. Oh yeah, because Griff got shot! The captain hauls the boy onto his back and starts making his return to the base. Despite the danger, he continues issuing orders remotely as they travel. He will not rest until every last one of his men is seen safely out of harm's way. Yeah. Because I died to this. I lost because he got shot and then I, uh... Yeah, and then I lost. Alpha team, fall back once you've destroyed the enemy armory. Beta team, move prisoners to the camp. Charlie team, return to base. Suddenly, a boy on his back amidst a small grove. In a thin voice, he admits his error and apologizes for his selfish actions. If another enemy were to find them now, he likely will not be able to fend them off. Pushing aside the pain, he continues his march. Right. Because it was literally a dead body. I remember that. That was weird. Also, you will notice once we get into this that uh, some of the weapons have changed. That's because I managed to actually equip Noel with a 5-star weapon, which I didn't know existed. But I managed to evolve, which is apparently a thing, a 4-star uh, weapon into a 5-star. So hopefully she's a lot better you now. Should leave before I also I gave uh, F66X a better weapon because uh, this one just has higher power. The other one's still there, and this one has very similar attack, so I don't feel too bad about it. Plus, it has a clock on it. And I love me some clocks. So, you no, know, overall, shit's just a little spicy. Alright. Foot and shields. Walk him up! Alright, right. Let's go fast. Noom. Health up. Collective recovery. 
Yeah, okay, I was taking no damage from these guys. Pull them up into the Heelys. Thank you, Akeha. Love you to bits. You are brutal. Do it. Yay, dead. All right, cool. On to the next one. Wave. Move. Ones, I suppose. I know well. Fuck them up. Thank you, Akeha, for the Heelys. Love me some Heelys. Alrighty. Oh, we're doing a Even lot better than last time. I'm gonna just straight up say that right now. Up attack, up attack, up health. Do a heckin' Stabberino. Laser Ripper. Well, Noelle's the only one that really needs healing, but I might as well heal. Do a heckin' Lazor. Love me some Lazor. That was probably a waste of Akeha's skill, but at the same time, you know, fuck it, whatever. Oh! How there's a big one and two little ones. That's never happened before. Of course, I don't think I got this far before, so I guess that makes sense. Alrighty, well, this should be fine. These guys really haven't been able to touch us yet. So we should be good. Should be fine. Oh, he's got teeths. Oh heck, he's got little teethies. Oh, I, oh, 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 I forgot to do the things. Up the attack. You buffoon. Akeha's health bar isn't even to the point where it stopped being Skiwampus and is now vertical. You stupid head. You absolute buffoon. Threaten and throw. Stupid. Stupid help. mans. La Mao. Get heck no, nerd. Hey, can we uh can we just kill him already? Because we're not having any issues with him. He's just taking away. Oh my god, Akeha, you're a fucking monster! Holy shit. Wowzers. That is all I can say, Akeha, is just wowzers. Alright, now we can finally finish the story. I'll protect you all. It's what? all your fault. I won't repeat no. my mistakes. Yeah. I'll repeat the mistakes of the past. I'll find a way to save every last thing. Your arrogance is killing our allies. I'm a different man. Different man now. No one will die on my watch. And if that comes at the cost of my own life, so be it. Well, I mean, you gotta respect the man. Gotta respect him. Like, <laughs> fucked up real bad in the past and did everything he could to make up for it. And you know, there's a lot to be said about the, about his character just based on that factor alone. It's like, I am not going to let this ever happen again and I will sacrifice myself if I need to for it. That's a lot about his character. I like this guy. He doesn't get to go on Edgy Lady Squad, but I like him a lot. I like him a lot better than Lars. Lars was obnoxious at Edgy Anime Boy. This guy is just a good guy. Probably the best characterized male that I've seen so far. Because Demos and Rion... Rion was okay. Demos was okay. Uh, Argo... Kinda not really characterized that much. Lars was obnoxious, but I suppose he was well characterized. Griff, though. The captain is reaching his physical limit. He will leave no man behind. He will let no man die. It is a naive belief, yet it keeps him going.
soon, another enemy force appears to bar their way. The captain stares them down, placing his own body between them and his young charge. Suddenly, the rest of his squad appears. Breaths are held. Fingers lie tense on weapons. One false move will mean a slaughter. Finally, after a long moment, the enemy retreats. The squad had come to their captain's aid. Miraculously, they have all survived the mission. With his eyelids heavy, he murmurs to the boy, I'm glad you survived. His men, the family he built at the cost of his pride, have saved him. They pick the boy up and begin to tease him, saying he's lucky to be alive. The boy responds with a dry smile, the first time any of them remember him doing so. The sound of their laughter rings out happily across the desolate battlefield. God damn. That was that was really nice. That was really nice. I really hope he survived. He probably didn't. But at the same time, like there was levity immediately, which he experienced. So he probably made it. He probably made it. I hope. My word, a happy ending. How terribly unusual. It's good to see the captain's wish to not let anyone die seems to have prevailed. And now for our favorite event, Dream Time! Dream of Prayer. I guess I go back now, right? I'm okay. Um, see you tomorrow. And there we have it. something in the other world may be causing her to weaken. No need to worry about that, hmm? It's not as if it affects you. Tomorrow, you shall feast on her dreams and take another step in your quest to become human. Well... Well, well, well. God damn. It, it, it's just I can now feel let us proceed oh. to the next part of the cage. Quickly now. I can feel this worming its way into my heart because I can feel the dread of like what's going to happen to Theo, what's going to happen to Lavanya. Like maybe this is just like two parts and then it's done. I really, really doubt that because I heard something about like school kids, like actual like Japanese school kids, and I don't think Fio is Japanese, but I don't know, maybe. They gave her a new name, perhaps because it was too painful to call her by the old one. And here we go.
Yes, Mr. Monster. I'm sorry for worrying you. Now let us make our pilgrimage to each dark scarecrow with gusto. You are not well- Ah, no, not this! Alright, now that that's over, time for us to get a move on with things. Ah, uh, Theo, I'm so glad to see that you are good enough feeling to be running again. You are a sweetheart and you deserve the best. Okay. I fear we've no time to spare for splashing about, young miss. Oh, Carrie, just let her play. Just let her you play. You have eaten quite a lot of the young miss's dreams. I believe the day you become human is nigh. I feel like it's going to go terribly wrong. Oh wait, it does go terribly wrong. I know what happens. Because Lavanya takes over Theo's body. Or like, Theo, or like they swap places, kind of? Something happens. Not sure exactly what. Bye. Bye, Theo. I love you. Enter story. Just please. <gasps> it's Noelle! Yay! Oh, I'm so excited! I get to see Noel. A girl awakens. Repeat, error in dormant state of specimen. Accommodation of specimen no longer possible. Awakening process activated. Blood exchange complete. Line breaker severed. Sea of origin discharge complete. Removing particles. Specimen beginning to awaken. All vital signs normal. Particle removal complete. Opening accommodation chamber. All nearby staff members are advised to keep their distance. Uh huh. The girl awakens to find her mind a perfect blank. She knows not where she is, who she is. She does not even know if these are questions worth asking. Do I need to check this out again? No, I do not. Then she hears a voice, almost a faint scream. I must go there. She knows not where there is, yet she begins to walk all the same. She moves down the corridor as if the voice drives her. Along the path, she finds a large crystal in the shape of a person. Her hand, acting of its own accord, reaches out for the strange object. Images flood her mind, memories left within the crystal. And through these memories, she suddenly understands. This crystal is the corpse of a girl, a girl of the same type as herself. We were created to be weapons. Halting of production and project suspension. As of tomorrow, June 8th, the clone in or 
the cloning-oriented weaponry mass production project we have worked on thus far will cease any and all activity following the manufacture of Sister Unit 123, and the project itself will be shelved. I will share the reasons for this, for this decision later on, but allow me to say here and now that I assume full responsibility. An eerie sound slithers from the soles of her feet. A white aberration appears. Its state of matter, undefined. Sensing its hostility, the girl's eyes turn red. Okay, this is weird. So straight off the hop, Noelle has red eyes, which is a huge thing. Like, it's a, it's a huge. Because that connects to the other games, but like at the same time, I don't know what the shit's going on. Oh my god. Who are you? That is certainly an outfit. That is, that that's an outfit. I like the, uh, I like the crop top and shorts a lot better. This is a little gratuitous. The high collar is interesting. But uh, the thong, a little weird. White Fang Agus and White Fang Agus times three. You're just a uh, little bit one note there, aren't we? You dwarfed at me. Have at you, you bastard. Yay, we did a heckin' murder! Yay, we did it! Woo! Righty. Time to murder the aberration. The girl dispatches the white creature. She fought with such agility, it seems impossible to think she is so newly awakened. Her composure flawless, the girl continues down the hall. The voice in her head drives her on relentlessly. She finds herself in a darkness devoid of life. Yet she continues on in search of answers. Alrighty. Well, we have Noella did it. -ed. We have Noellified. The Noellification has begun! Rightio. Hey, Theo! Love you! Oh, the spear straight up doesn't have a point. In weapon. Sif 06 Proto. That's words. Ah, so this is the tale of a girl created to be a weapon. My god, once again, wasting absolutely no time. Alright, time to hop right into this and uh, get going. Oh my god, it's already at 60k. Alright, well, see you in a bit. Well, that did not go great, I'm gonna be honest. As you may have noticed right at the end there, Akeha was the only one left standing. Uh, which is a bit of an issue, because uh, I have been grinding so goddamned much, and uh, I just, frankly, fled uh, there. That's all. Fled there. I just fled there. Okay, but we're done with that. Oh my god, it's literally right here. Jesus, they're not even, like, trying to just hide the fact that this is just a way to get me to grind. Yeah, the problem is that Akeha is single-handedly making up about half of the power of the team, which is a bit of an issue because uh, then as soon as the other two go down, Action Economy is working against me, and I've got a three on one, which means I need it more balanced so that the others will stay up, but I don't have a better balance because I don't have any other four stars, because fuck me. Alrighty, let's fucking do this shit. Found you. Alrighty, that went much better because uh, Noel and F66X did not go down. It's amazing how that works. But yeah, so uh, now that that's not a problem that we have to deal with anymore, now we can move on to bigger and better things. Clown beds. Like the story 
of Noelle. And we get to see what's up with her. Because she's crazy. No, she's not crazy. She's just a badass. With glowing red eyes. Who likes to murder? Huh? Good heavens! It ran off! Excuse me? I uh, fear I have never seen a scarecrow take flight in such a fashion before. It would seem they are capable of moving. Well, this is bizarre. So last time, we had people come out of the scarecrow. I'm not even certain you can kill it. It's made of a very strange substance. Yeah, so anyways, last time, uh, we had people coming out of the scarecrows. And now we've got the scarecrows running off. Was the scarecrow guiding me towards the exit of this maze? I feel like there's definitely something hidden around here. Definitely something hidden around here. There's no way that nothing's hidden around here. Nothing's hidden around here. Okay. Eh. Alrighty. Oh, at last. Lavanya, you need to work on your anger management, my dude. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. God damn. It's creeping up so fast. I just, I need more four stars and then everything will be fine. Echoes in the heart. Crystallize. The girl traverses a corridor filled with rubble. A fight happened here. She spies a faint light filtering in through the collapsed ceiling. The girl climbs the rubble, seeking the light's source. Having climbed the wreckage, she spies row upon row of living plants. The light spilling into the corridor below had been for their benefit. Enraptured at the sight of the plants, the girl is suddenly beset by a terrible vertigo. Her vision spins, her mind reels. But she somehow manages to brush these feelings aside and continue her journey. Memory Degradation Phenomenon Experiment Report Specimens 31, 33, 34, and 35 Procedure Specimen 31 was shown a paper with an image of a blue square before being euthanized. The remaining three specimens were made to recover 31's memories from her body at staggered intervals afterwards, at which point they were asked about the shape and color of the image on the paper. Situation A One day post-death Specimen 33 Response Specimen 33 answered square, then later added blue. Situation B Two days post-death Specimen 34. Response. Specimen 34 answered square, then added gray. Situation C. Four days post-death. Specimen 35. Response. Specimen 35 answered, I don't know. An aberration once again appears to block her progress. She stares down her enemy with red eyes and utterly flawless composure. Alrighty, time to do this again. Alrighty, but now this time we have Noel without her ass hanging out. <sighs> you know, it is it is rather unfortunate the costume choices that were made in this game. Particularly how pretty much all the women have their butts out. 
Like, you know, you should leave before it's I fine leave. to have your butt out if you want to, but, uh, to be like, okay, every I'll single character is gonna have their ass out if they're female and be normally dressed if they're male. Little unfortunate. Little unfortunate. Gonna be honest. Yeah, this is definitely a bit more of a grindy fight. Which is good, which is good. I do like grindy fights, but at the same time, uh, I do not relish having to figure out how to uh, get more four stars without paying money into this. Because I, uh, I don't want to do that. God damn it, they're focusing on Noel again. Nope. Don't you dare kill my Noel. She's the one that matters here. Thank you for the Heelys. Okay. Noelle's still in pink, but she's not in red. So we're doing okay. I do think Noelle's gonna go down, though, because she is the weakest link among these folks. Cheer up. Although, maybe not. If I can get, uh... The companion Healy's off, and also uh, F66X's super, then she might stay up. Okay, so we've got her at about two thirds. Solid. Okay. Oh, yeah, I also went back to F66X's previous staff because I realized that I was a buffoon and had mixed them up, and the clock one was actually not as strong. And I am a big, stupid, dumb, dumb poopy head. But it's fine. Because it was basically the same kind of staff, and this one was in her second slot anyways. So it doesn't really matter. So shut up, I'm not as stupid as I think I am. Except I am, but shut up. How annoying. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get this fucker taken down! I do think that we should be able to take him down fairly easily just because uh, we've got everybody up currently, which bodes really well. Which means we're going to be able to get some early damage in and go from there. I don't think Noelle's making it out of it, especially given that particular move, but uh, we should be fine. Should be fine, hopefully. Yeah, Noelle's dead. Yep, Noel's dead as shit, and right go. before Akeha's uh, Healy's were up. God damn it. I mean, we still got this, but I'm sad about it now. Oh yeah, Akeha, fuck him up. So fuck him up, 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 fuck him up, 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 fuck him up, 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 stab him in the high neck! Wow! Whoa, whoa, I'm so pitchy today. Oh, stab him in the dick. Noise. Okay, one, two. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a little gnarly. F sixty six X might go down. No hesitation. But no we've mercy. got Akeha, and Akeha is untouchable. I have also been leveling Akeha really, really hard because I don't think you can pull five stars. So I think four stars are the highest you can pull, which means I've been boosting the shit out of her as a character because I don't think she's going anywhere from uh, my like main squad for quite some time. Oof, yeah, she's going down. She's definitely going down. That's rough. That makes me sound. But, it's fine, because we've got F66X, F66X's meat shieldiness stopping Akeha from going down. Oh, he's Piece going after Akeha. Nice. I like that, because that means F66X will stay up long. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah, Healy's okay. We're doing good. Hell yeah. Oh, baby, we Please got this hit. in the b -b 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 bag. I fuck him up. Do the fireball. Wow, you did shit all to him. And 
and shwabam. And boom, kill him, Akeha. Now I'll cut you down, Lamau. Yeah, got him with the shmush. Got him with the super. That's nice. That's a good feeling. Nailing him to the ground with the super. I need, I need a better team. God damn it. I really don't want to pull it. Oh wait. The white phantom evaporates like so much mist. These corpses were weapons like her. She might have even called them her sisters. She holds up a hand to the crystal and closes her eyes. A torrent of images race forth and swallow the girl's consciousness. They are memories. They are horrible. Girls, her sisters, overrun by a horde of aberrations. Their pain and agony floods through her mind. The white aberrations brought ruin to the facility. Forgotten letter about the gate's passcode. This missive is written on paper for security reasons. Please dispose of it after reading. You may have heard news of this already, but Specimen Zero, the original, will be granted permission to visit the Cultivation Labs, so we need to revise the security protocols with that in mind. I went ahead and changed the passcode, and I decided to make it related to the Memory Degradation Experiment Report. All you need to do is input the shapes in Specimens 35, 34, and 33's responses in that exact order. That's right, it's the opposite order they come in compared to the report itself, so make special note of that. Oh, and input X for I don't know. Alrighty. So, X square square. Having inherited the memories, the girl moves on. She must learn more. She must appease the voice in her head. Well, shit. I feel like it, this is absolutely a situation where the aberrations are like some version of uh, the girls. But at the same time, the aberrations definitely give me uh, white chlorination syndrome zombie vibes. Like the salt zombies from... Yeah, like that's pre-near replicant lore. Basically... Oh man, do I even want to like go into the lore as far as I know it? Let's just let's just wait for a second here. Ah, interesting. So this girl, this living weapon, goes about collecting memories, hmm? Mm. <sighs> um, okay. Alrighty. Well, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going to go into the deep lore for now. Maybe I'll go into it later, but uh, for the time being, this is definitely sus as shit. I'm really looking forward to uh, how this ties in, because, fuck, it's been so many episodes now, and it still hasn't goddamn tied in. But for now, thank you all so much for following my playthrough of Near Reincarnation, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Mm -hmm.